Oh no, I left the door open. Crud, is he in here? Are you underneath here? What about here, are you underneath your hide? No. I need to take a broom to your cage. Oh well. Hmm. Well, hi guys, this is Raven with the Regal Reptile, and, um, well, I have kind of a dragon problem. Uh, the, the, the bearded dragon has escaped, so we're gonna go play Dragon Hunter. Here's the bigger problem. I'm packing, and, I mean, there's so many places he can hide now. So, let's get to work. So, first of all, if your bearded dragon ever gets lost, or whatever, they are ground-dwelling lizards. For the most part. So the first thing you can do is look on the ground. Sometimes he likes to hide in shoes, so we're going to just pull out our mass of shoes. We should probably organize better. I do not see him in any of these shoes. To the box kingdom. Alright, so now we're going to look under the aquarium, because for some reason he likes to hang out there. Nope. Nope. These are shoes we're going to donate to, like, the Salvation Army or something, and he's not over here. The stuff you find when looking for a bearded dragon. I drew this uh, so long ago, like, way back in college. I drew it for my husband, because he likes dragons. Anyway... I'll put that in a box, because we're packing to move. Are you behind here? Nope. Are you behind here? Nope. Are you behind here? Nope. What about here? Nope. Are you under the table? What is that? Oh. It's a finger sponge. Ha! Huh? Pack that up, too. Hey, Galileo. Have you seen Maxwell? You have like the high view of the room. He's telling me very carefully with his eyes to go away. Look at that slow headpan, that's hysterical. Maybe he's in all these soft things. Pillows, blankets, another pillow. The piranha plant? Did you eat? Maxwell, Mr. Piranha Plant. Okay, fine. Are you under the sofa? Are you playing Nintendo games? Max! Huh. Why is there a tape measure over here? Feast your eyes on the old and battered remains of one of the Regal Reptile's backgrounds. This is proof that these things are not human safe. Only lizard safe. So if you have a pet human, don't let him or her sit on these or they will break. Are you behind the giant dead tree? No. I know, you're trying to get free worms from the worm corner over here, aren't you? Sometimes he gets really adventurous and goes into other rooms. Hey, Caldera, have you seen Maxwell anywhere? He's brown and flat and looks like a pointy pancake. Have you seen him? No? Okay. Good luck laying your infertile eggs. So in the event that you cannot find your bearded dragon and you are freaking out, um, you can take a heat lamp, especially one with a clamp on it, and make a little hot spot outside of the enclosure. Just make sure the heat lamp isn't too close to anything flammable like your carpet. And, um, Put some water out right there, and maybe your bearded dragon will migrate to the warm area. Chances are, if you don't hear your bearded dragon for a while, he's found a corner to hide in and is probably asleep, which makes finding them even more difficult. Fine. I finally had to pull the curtain back on the regal reptile corner. Look at how messy this place is. When I get a house, soon when we move, we will have a lot more room, and I... Once I get it all fixed and shelved and everything, we'll give you a beautiful tour of the new Regal Reptile workplace. 
But for now, we still have a dragon to find. Oh no, it's the attack of the foam. Not in the kitchen. I have looked all in this computer room. Not in the bedroom. Okay, Max, it's really time to be found now. Oh, this door is open. I wonder if he's in here. He would hide in little spaces. So he's not here. He's not behind the door. What about... Oh, I can't see. Maxwell, what are you doing? Why are you hiding way back here? Baby, come here. Now, when you find a bearded dragon, and he has escaped on his own, Maxwell has done this at least once to me, where he freaked out and puffed up his beard and tried to attack me. So, you want to come from behind the bearded dragon, and you want to slowly pick them up and let them know that you are their owner, and you're not someone that's going to attack them. Um, so talk to them and let them know. And we're going to put you back home, buddy. Back home. There you go. Such a silly beardy. Such a silly beardy. Oh, you okay? Are you okay? Why don't you turn around so you can see us, huh? There you go. You lick. Well, thank you guys for joining me on this dragon hunt. <laughs> I am, as I said earlier, in the process of moving, so videos might be sporadic. But anyway, I hope you had fun. I hope you like and subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. And I hope it has some good pointers on how to find at least a bearded dragon. Snakes are a different story, aren't they, Maxwell? We know how that works. Um, obviously, the best way to prevent this kind of thing from even happening is to keep your cage closed because bearded dragons like to explore. They're explorers, aren't you? So have a wonderful day, guys, and <clears throat> talk to y'all in the next video. See y'all.